I had another free pick winner right here at Wager Talk TV last night as I had the New York Knicks plus five and a half, an outright underdog winner over Golden State in a game they led wire to wire, which means uh, at no time throughout the course of 48 minutes in that game did Golden State lead. And uh, to get an underdog that wins wire to wire, you know what? If you followed my advice, congratulations. It was a nice no sweat winner. If you didn't, well, um, you know, that's your prerogative. And ask yourself this, was that a good decision not to? Because I've won four in a row right now on Wager Talk TV, and uh, let's make it five in a row today. Now, I know when you look at the graphic uh, at Wager Talk TV, you're going to see Howard versus Wagner. And I can almost assure you that half of the people that normally view these videos with me will say, won't even open it up because it, it's something that's of little interest to them. It's two teams they never heard of, maybe, number one. It's two uh, teams that are 16 seeds in the NCAA tournament that are playing for the right to get hammered by North Carolina, number two. And uh, number three, it's just uh, not a game that's of interest on a national level. And I'm here to tell you, games like this is sometimes where you could find the best betting value. And I think I have something here for you. But before I get to that pick, just a friendly reminder, folks, uh, you can go to our my uh, website where I'm at, sportsmemo.com. I'm not at Wager Talk uh, in terms of picks, but at sportsmemo.com, our sister site, uh, I am listed there as one of the experts. You can click on Ross Benjamin on the experts section. You'll see all the hot streaks I have going on uh, right now. And also the fact that you can get $30 off my seven-day package, normally $199. You can get that for $169 right now just by simply using the promo code ROSS30. ROSS30. That will get you $30 off my seven-day package. Folks, that's going to cover you through uh, not only the first four games, but also the uh, NIT action and also the first two rounds of the NCAA tournament. So uh, great value right there. Don't forget too, folks. If you want to continue to see me on uh, Wager Talk TV, uh, I've only been doing this for about two weeks for Wager Talk TV right now. It's imperative you click that like button uh, if, if indeed you want to see me continue. And I would appreciate if you did click that like button. Again, above and beyond everything else, it's a small token of your appreciation for the time, work, and effort uh, I put into trying to give you winners on a daily basis. And again, like I said, we've hit four in a row. Um, we're going to lose on occasion. Everybody knows that. Uh, but again, my goal is always to put you in a winner circle more times than not, uh, even on these free picks above and beyond even the uh, uh, premium picks. And again, folks, uh, if you have not subscribed to Wager Talk TV, you need to take a second to do so. It costs you absolutely nothing uh, to do. And you'll see that subscribe button right underneath. OK, let's get to this game. Wagner and Howard. Howard, three-point favorite, total 128.5. Here's the thing with Wagner. They played in the Northeast Conference, and their tournament games were all uh, the home teams were the higher-seeded teams. All, all of their tournament games, as opposed to a lot of other conferences that are played on a neutral floor, their, uh, their games within their conference tournament is played on a higher-seeds home floor. So Wagner... Uh, made an improbable run. They were a lower seeded to the lowest seeded team. They won all three games on the road, all three as an underdog to make it to the NCAA tournament. Here's the other improbable uh, factor that within that run is the fact that Wagner only has right now seven healthy scholarship players, and they were still able to win, reel off three road wins in a row and get to the NCAA tournament. Prior to that, they were 4-8 and eight in their last 12 regular season games. Um, they're very good defensively, if you look at the analytics, but they're terrible offensively. Uh, in the last five games, uh, you know, at 58 points per game, shooting less than 40% from the field, 24.2% from beyond uh, the three-point line, and uh, 14 free throw attempts per game. So and they're in, been anemic offensively like i said they've been lucky because they've been playing very well on the defensive end of the floor 
but eventually you can't continue to wear, wear, uh, win those low-scoring games, especially when the level of competition uh, ramps up. Howard, um, I wouldn't say the level of competition is really ramped up, but this is a Howard team that comes in with a ton of momentum. They've won seven of their last eight. Uh, they're number 19 nationally in three-point shooting at 37.5%. They're number 11 nationally in free throw attempts, and they also make 75% of those free throw attempts. Too many times we um, ignore free throw st statistics when it comes to handicapping games. I don't do that. It's part of my arsenal. And especially if you get a team like Howard – that may have a lead late in the game, say six, seven, eight point lead in the final two minutes where the other team is forced to extend games by fouling. You want to make sure that favorite uh, is a team that has the capability of knocking down free throws at a high rate. And Howard has shown that statistically anyway. In their last five games, they've shot 39% from the three-point line. They're not only a real good three-point shooting nationally, but they've been red hot over their last five. They're also averaging 27 free throw attempts per game in their last five and knocking down 76.5% of those attempts. They've scored 70 or more in seven of the last eight. And con considering the fact that um, Wagner struggles offensively, that's something I can't ignore either because you can't continue to hold teams a 60 or less and, can, and just depend on your defense and not be able to score like Wagner. I think I'm going to take Howard here. Minus three in the first four game on Tuesday, March 19th in the NCAA tournament. Howard minus three over Wagner. I'll be back tomorrow with another free pick. Winner on Wager Talk TV. Take care and God bless, folks.